iced tea and whiskey. All right, let me let me see if there's anybody else. Let me see. Oh, I see Harry. Harry? Yeah. All right, well, you're looking good. Hola, everyone. Hola. 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 Uh, this is the show. This is fun. This is what people tune in. Yeah, this is it. This is the show right here. I'm excited. Yeah, it's just people connecting with Skype. Yeah. Troubles, right? That's the extent of it. All right, let me see if Elizabeth wants to join us here on the show. Hang on. Skype world problems. <laughs> is it working? Are you kidding? Are you on? Who's on? Who's on? You on? <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to Ray. I don't see him. Okay. I don't see you either. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just hear Ray. We don't see Ray. <laughs> All right. Looking good. Elizabeth's going to join us here. All right. Pretty, pretty Harry. exciting. <laughs> Hola. Uh, Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Wow. Okay, I don't have any agenda for this show, so I hope you guys came with something. Hello. Is that, am I on? You're on. on. You're on. Are you on? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Woo. Chicago Discord again. Is Andrew at the bar? I think Andrew is the bar. <laughs> he may, he, he, Let's raise he the, bar. the bar. Andrew brought the bar to him, actually. Okay. He raises, raises the bar. I didn't, my beer is too full, so I spilled it on myself. I didn't even set this up properly. I don't have, like, uh, I don't have a theme <laughs> to, to start the show. <laughs> I don't have anything. Blue. Are you sure you don't want to be on camera? Because you look Shocked. great. All right. I'm going to put you on camera because you look really good. She's got to be on. Come on, everyone's on. Brian's well, on, for I, God's sake. Come on. Yeah, I'm on. I did my eyebrows. Oh, there you go. So did Brian. So come on. Nobody can see your eyebrows. The eyebrows aren't on. <laughs> so, Brian, your dad's married? Is that uh, Yeah, is now that he's thing? married. He's in the Greek Isles right now. I guess he nice. gets back on Tuesday. But, <clears throat> yeah. All right. Must be nice. Shall we? Uh, shall we try and start the show? Start no. the show. Hey, can I see it? Yeah. Can well. See it? No. Yeah, you can. You can stream it. Class? Hang on. How's it? How's it gonna work, Coatsy? Okay. Here's what's gonna happen, guys. Is <clears throat> I am going to. Uh, you're gonna pretend there was a theme. I'm gonna introduce the show, and then I'm going to get everyone to introduce themselves in alphabetical order. First so <laughs> everyone has to sit and take Last a moment. Last names are first. First names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right. Well, my Your Andrew Woody. <laughs> you say a little bit about yourself. And... Yeah, a little bit about yourself. <laughs> right? You can go ahead and take a moment here while I set up Elizabeth's uh, laptop so that you can make up some sort of fake bio. I don't care what it is. Okay. Whoever Andrew right. Graves is says he's confused. <laughs> Have we got a chat room going? <laughs> Everybody's seeing the stream. So, at least my friends are. I don't know. All I right, don't have well, any I want to apologize to everybody who tuned in at six o'clock half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been it's been pretty great, pretty pretty great. Wildly Dude. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Medini told you, Woody, but uh, you're you're out. Oh yeah. yeah, we decided that last time. Medina's there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I mean, it wasn't. I wouldn't it say I had full responsibility. No. Okay. Not, uh, he did not tell me, actually. I couldn't to, to answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now don't turn the volume up on that because we're on a delay, all right? I'm talking to Elizabeth. Please. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Andrew Grizz wants a live chat. Oh, I know, I know. We're going to go on Facebook here and see yeah, if Yeah, live chat has been like a work in progress for... A long time now. Well, I think that you were the one who was responsible for that, Ayn. You blew it. Hey, oi, oi, oi. Yeah. <laughs> I helped you on a drunken Sunday or Friday or Thursday set that up. But aren't you a web person? Don't you do web stuff? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> but, I mean, I said I, I, I fixed whatever Corey had issues with. I don't know why he hasn't <laughs> implemented it yet. <laughs> That's a good answer, actually. 
All right. Why don't we call it? Uh, why don't we call it a start? Corey has lots of issues that uh, I don't think anyone can fix. Unfixable. <laughs> All right. The show starts in three, two, one. No, Ein, shut up. Jeez. <laughs> now I got to start again. Okay. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Show, show starts in shut up, Ein. Two, one. <laughs> Now everybody shut up. God, welcome to episode 200 of the Five Gallon Podcast. This is a really special occasion because we've got how many people here on panel right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people uh, connected it by the internet. Six and a half because I don't count as people. Oh, well, that's right. Okay, we've got like six people and an Asian. <laughs> All right, let's go around, and I'm not going to start with myself in alphabetical order. Okay. Mm. Is that me first? No. (laughs) I'm not first. Uh, This would be uh, Woody. Okay. (laughs) So is that not alphabetical order? That's what I'm... (laughs) Are we going by Woody, Medina? Is that what we're doing? Well, I think it's first name, so it's definitely... It's it's Andrew. Well, then Andrew. Andrew. All right, good. Yeah, Yeah. doofus. In a bio, in, in, in 10 words or less. Yeah. In a bio? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a place. <laughs> I'm not even drunk yet. It's already, like, there. Is this the show? Is this what people tune in for? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, next, in, next in alphabetical order, we've got... Ein. My name's Ein. I have colored hair. I'm an Asian... And that's it. Nice. Says a lot. The cats too. You have cats. And I have cats. I have lots of cats. I have a thousand cats. (laughs) And I have a dog. And a chicken. All right, that's over ten words. Well, that's enough about her. Yeah, seriously. Moving along. Moving along. Next. Uh, I guess. Who's next? Yeah, who is it next? You. I guess it would be me. Yeah, Brian. Uh, I'm in Kansas City at the moment, and uh, I just had a hectic weekend. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Go why, why did you have a hectic weekend? Uh, it, it's mostly drinking, debauchery, people I haven't seen in a oh. while, pushing me to do things that I wouldn't normally do, which involves drinking and staying out very late. Yeah. What is debauchery? Uh. Let's see. I'm I guess it would be like sneaking, you know, bottles of liquor into bars and sitting in the back and getting wasted and then oh, you know, smashing glasses I, and stuff. So I stole two cups at from a bar and I don't remember doing it. All right. According to the Internet, debauchery is excessive indulgence in sensual pleasures. Yes. Yeah. All right. Next up. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Elizabeth. Uh, I was born in St. John's Hospital. <laughs> And I'm addicted to Cheetos. Are you really addicted to Cheetos? I, they shouldn't be around me. Are you serious? Hot really well with Cheetos, actually. I've never seen you eat Cheetos. Is there? Is that the reason why? Yeah. All right. Come to new hot ones. Mm. Coming after E, I guess we have what? H. H? Hi, everybody. I'm Harry. I'm. Corey's boss over at Hair Corp in the morning, <laughs> and I learned how to poop fire this weekend. What? Ooh. Hot snakes and bubble gut, huh? <laughs> what do you mean you pooped fire? It hurt. It was a lot hot. Oof. Very, very hot. <laughs> what did you? What did you? Spicy Cheetos. All right, I, don't I didn't need anything hot though. It was hot. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're aware, but uh, Elizabeth and I both have. Probably an unhealthy interest in poo. Oh. <laughs> well, we do. I mean. I can see. Two humans, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the R. What do we got over there? My name's Ray. I'm white. I have four cats. <laughs> hey, cats. Uh, how many cats have you got, Ein? Two. Yeah, and you're not white. I'd, I'd beat you. <laughs> in heights and cats. 
Uh, all right. I have absolutely no direction for this show. I want to. Uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Ears. I just talks all over everybody, so don't worry about her. It's what she does when she's here. It's what she does online. It does what she does at home. That's that's fine. Uh, we don't have a mute button for her yet, but I'm working on it. But this this is it. This is like the 200th episode. Oh God! Sure <laughs> I'm like halfway through my beer. <laughs> We're not going to play any tunes. We're just going to hang out on the internet for like an hour and uh, shoot know, the shit. This kind of reminds me of the Brady Bunch intro show. Uh, intro to the show. <laughs> it does. Right, 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 it does. Around, <laughs> beside of each other and stuff. <laughs> can we get a screenshot of this? Yeah, I can do that. It's. I think it's uh, <laughs> Command Shift Four. <laughs> it is. Is it? <laughs> yeah. There we go. I just took a screenshot. <laughs> Get that up somewhere. Uh, keyboard shortcuts. So did I. Keyboard shortcuts. But this is it. For those that tuned in, I want to get this kind of out of the way uh, to the program. You guys listen out there all over the world. Thank you very much. Uh, and you're probably looking for some music tonight uh, and all kinds of, you know, uh, not debauchery. But unfortunately, you're just going to get an hour of debauchery. Does that sound right? That's what, that's what we have to offer, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but that's that's kind of it. So if you want some music, go back and listen to the old shows. Or if you want some music later, I guess wait because it's not going to fucking happen tonight. <laughs> I just crossed my legs. <laughs> I can hear Harry whispering. I love it. This is the show. This is exactly this, what people this tune in for. It's the whole thing. I kind of want to. I want to. I want to jump in here and I want to say just just for the record. Uh, Toozy, a.k.a. Jacob, also known as Jake, didn't fucking show. Big surprise. Mm. No, I went surprised. That's, that's Jake. That's Jake. Hey, Jake. Who's Jake? <laughs> He's a lawyer. He's, He's a, a lawyer and a meth addict. Yeah. Lawyer your way out of this one. Huh? <laughs> and he has a Jesuit beard. He, he does have a really Jesuit. good bathtub gin, too. <laughs> that's uh, a skill. That's, a, that's impressive. Toozy. So I think I think what we can do though now that he's not here is that gives us some certain license to to make fun of him for the next like five minutes yes. at least. I don't Absolutely. know who this Jake is. I don't know <laughs> me. Totally. Jake's a singer. All right, but already sounds like a tosser. Yeah, here's kind of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way though? Because like I've heard, oh. is there is there anyone here in this in this conversation who's heard Tuzi sing? Yes, yes, I have. Okay, does anyone have an opinion on that before I put mine in there? Angelic. It is angelic. He's got that kind of. He sings like a, uh, I don't know, like a friar. Does that make any sense? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like he's he's wandering through the woods and he's got a lute. Uh huh. <laughs> and he's singing you. He has a Christmas album. Yeah, he's. <laughs> I would love to use his Christmas album. Soul and night. <laughs> he could do a one man musical. That's what he could do. He could be a minstrel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely out of this conversation. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Do you guys not? You probably don't have minstrels in Asia. Menstruation. Um, <laughs> don't they play, one they play one string? They play one string in Asia. They play the thing that goes like. <laughs> That's all they need. That's all they need. Yeah, they're minimalists. That's all they need. Minimalists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know they play piano. I know they're good at that. I play one piano. 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 Wait a minute. Ein plays piano. Don't no. No. All right. So you said, that's what you said. Your words. Just using your words. She just I do plays play chopsticks. I know how to read music. I know how to play. I haven't played in a long time. But, yeah, I know how to do piano. Mm. Do piano. Yep. Do more piano. Do it now. Lesson, do it right lesson now. number one. Do, it. do, do it. piano. Do mas piano. I think that's... <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for well, you. I have nothing to say here anymore. Okay, well, I'm applying for my... Only? You're a black man? What? Is that what you just said? No, do you play the black keys? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively. <laughs> <laughs> Our 
Ernest Wrestling. <laughs> hmm. oh, well, I, I have something going on with me. If, he, if um, I'm actually in the process of, of applying for a concealed carry license. Seriously? Yeah. Go on. Right on. Well, I've got the paperwork here. Something concealed if you're... We've got this paperwork. Should we do it right now? Yeah, let's do it. That's, uh... Oh, yeah. That's really hard to get in our country. <laughs> that's really, Strength. Brian, that's really hard to get in this country. Wait, which one? Canada? The, yeah. The, no. the yeah. Carry. Bummer. <laughs> ah, well. Yeah, well, what can you do, right? Do you, do you have a firearm? No, not at this time, but I will probably be purchasing one in the near future if I get this license. But, you know, going through it, it's actually very incredibly easy to get this. Mm. It's incredibly easy. God. It's insane. And uh, not only... Any... What's that? Sorry. Do you do you get any uh, of your civil liberties uh, uh, lifted due to that? Like, uh, like for example, in Canada here, if you get that, that license, no longer do you have to have the police surrender a search warrant upon a visit. They can just show up whenever they want. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think I just have to... <laughs> the only thing I have to do is just <laughs> state that I have the weapon. Seriously, right. so police wait. officer in, in, in the event that they actually have to interact with the uh, police officer when I have a concealed carry on me. I kind of want to back that up that, for a second because I mean, sorry, Brian, but wait a minute. Like, so if if you have a, a concealed, is it is it just the conceal and carry in Canada, or is it just because you have a firearm and it's registered? Well, no, no, that's, no. That's, they, it's, the, it's the concealed carry. That's like the biggest concern is is being able to hide the weapon so mm -hmm. that no, so nobody knows you have the weapon on your person. Yeah. No, in Canada, you you have three. You have uh, re restricted, unrestricted, and then the prohibited. And then the conceal and carry comes after that. And that's for strictly handguns, which are totally prohibited weapons up here. And it's no really kidding. hard to get. Yeah, that's Once actually you've got, wild. Right. I, I've gone for my, my, uh, my unrestricted. And if I go to the next step, which is restricted... At that point, that's when you relinquish the right to have uh, the police show you uh, a search warrant upon their their uh, uh, knock on your door. Yeah, they can just come right on in. They don't even need anything, huh? Nope. That's wild. Well, in but, Canada, we yes. only got like five cops anyway, so it's not like they're going to come around. <laughs> I wish they went back to those old flat room hats. They're so much easier to see coming. <laughs> <laughs> and on their horse. Yeah. Coming over the mountains. Yes, it was. <laughs> and a horn. <laughs> yeah, they come. Wait. Hide everything. It's a mountie and his wolf. It's due south. How many? How many people in this in this group have a gun? Just Harry, probably, right? Um, yeah, I don't. Harry's got a gun. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, have you got a weapon? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, right? yet. No. But wildly enough, here in Kansas, this is the craziest part out of the entire process that I found out, was as long as the gun is not loaded, you can just carry it around openly without any problem. They what? don't care. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like just hanging off what? the side of your belt, you're walking around with a gun? You could take a shotgun down the street with it. I Dang, mean, what? Yeah, it's absolutely yep. wild. It's not illegal. The open carry is just completely wild to me because I was looking into it for Louisiana. I'm about to go down there this summer and sell some fireworks. I wanted to have some kind of protection. <laughs> I, I, wait, I, wait, I, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you can't just start with that. You have to kind of <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't just sneak that in there. Well, you know, that's 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 the the whole point of this is I wanted to make sure I had uh, the ability to legally carry a weapon around or at least have it on me. Found out that if you're running a business, you can have a loaded weapon hidden wherever you want within it. Same with your residence, and you don't need any license or anything. No paperwork, nothing. As long as the gun's not stolen or used in a previous shooting or anything, the numbers aren't matching anything that you uh, <laughs> would be in trouble for. You're fine. <laughs> I, I kind of want—I want to put this whole puzzle together because I, I got a couple pieces that are a little loose. You got, mm. <laughs> I got myself a little diner, all right? Okay. And uh, the cash register, right there under the cash register, I got like a loaded thirty-eight, And that's okay. 
That's totally fine. In case somebody comes up and says, I didn't get four pieces of bacon with my breakfast. <laughs> I, can, I can pull that thing out and I can say, you fucking did. Yeah, no, I'm not sure at what point you can pull it out and be like, hey, no, no, no. See, I have a 38 that's loaded. I'm not sure when that, that comes into play, but you can have it. <laughs> oh, good taste. Yeah, exactly. So you can have it, but you can't pick it up. Is that well? You, you can. I think it's a, it's in the event that you feel that you're in danger or your your life is threatened. But uh, that's a you know that's a very well, gray you don't area. Have any bullets in but yeah, if you don't have any, well, you you would have bullets in it if it's in a a place like a restaurant or a home or something like that. Well, anywhere in the world, like if, if, if I'm if I'm gonna pull a gun out and I don't have bullets in it, I'm in I'm in more trouble than if I did. Yeah. Probably, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> probably in the United States, someone's going to pull a gun See, out that Canada, has bullets. We have to store the weapons separately from the ammunition uh, well, that's, under yeah, that's separate lock true. boxes, as long when, along with trigger locks on it on everything too. Sure, sure, and th that's the case when you're traveling in a vehicle or something. It has to be uh, unloaded. And it has to be in a locked box. But if it's in a residence or a business, I guess it's totally fine to have it loaded and and, and ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Hmm. America. <laughs> Fucking America. America. <laughs> and you wonder why there are so many shootings. Yeah, no kidding. Could it could it be that there are so many guns? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. It, you know, it doesn't make any sense no. whatsoever, but... But you it's, know. it's too late, though, right? Maybe the, the so many idiots. The genie's out of the <laughs> bottle. They, right? There's, you can't put the genie back there in. There are quite a few. You can't. You can't put the genie back in the thing when he's... Problem, though, to the sh school shootings. I mean, of course, there's, like, a good factor to it. Look at you. every person that has shot at a school. They have been on some form of medication, and it's, like, sure. psychotic medication, of which that there have been known issues where they, you know, children, children who have taken such medication will just randomly kill their parents in the middle of the night and do school shootings. Like, there's been a bunch of cases um, where these children have been on, like, I forget what, it, I forget the drug of choice it is, but there's a huge chunk that have been with uh, psych psychedelic, well, what was it, psychotic drugs, on psychotic drugs. Yeah. And I think it no, distorts it's, your it's extremely it's common. The thing is, we don't really have any kind of, like, measures to take care of it. Actually, the application process is just a yes or no assessment of, I think one of them is like, have you ever <laughs> been committed? No. Seriously, like there's a, <laughs> there's a checkbox. Do you intend to shoot up a public place? No. Oh, yeah, seriously. It's, that's it. It's like yes or no. That's all they want to know is yes. Can you read those off for us? Or... Yeah, actually, I can read a few of them off. I'll maybe. answer them with my whoopee question. Yeah. It, it, all right. Harry's, Harry's going to fart one for yes um... and two for no. Okay, let's see. Have you ever been involuntarily committed to a, a mental institution? Answer yes. And then include a written explanation in this application. But that's it. That's the only thing that addresses. <laughs> Harry put two farts in on that one. <laughs> Have you ever been a mentally ill person subject to involuntary commitment? Or a person with an alcohol or substance abuse problem subject to involuntary commitment. I don't even know what that means. But that's what <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> There's two farts for that one. <laughs> but they're God, just yes or no yeah, questions. Just, give me my gun. <laughs> just give me my fucking gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking, I gotta go to 7 Eleven and get more beer. Beer. They actually. A big thing that was going on here was uh, they were trying to determine whether or not it, it's legal for someone to be drunk and carrying a weapon on them. Because apparently there's, such, there's a loophole in the Constitution that says you're allowed to bear arms and it doesn't really state whether or not you can be drunk while you're doing it. And Kansas was trying to <laughs> uphold the right of drunk people to have a weapon. <laughs> so what? Hold on now. How could that possibly well, work though logistically? Let's suppose that you go down to the bar with your gun. You have a couple of sure. beers. What are you going to do? Leave the bar like in at the bar? It's like I'll be back tomorrow. Right. Yeah, I know. You, I guess if you're going to get drunk, you can't bring your weapon with you. Mm. I, I'm not sure, but that's that was kind of like the uh, the issue raised. Is but like. Wouldn't you be more sir, give me your to keys want? and your gun, please. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you're not driving or shooting tonight. Yeah, you're done. Mm -hmm. You're only raping. <laughs> Good luck. 
<laughs> is there a checkbox for that? Is yeah, <laughs> actually, you know, I didn't see anything on there. After the mental mental health issues, it's just whether or not you're an illegal alien. <laughs> God. So you can't have a gun. If you're, an illegal alien. if you're an illegal alien, no, you can't have a gun. Do you think there's any follow up on their part? Do you think that okay, they get the application and it says, you know, no, and it's like I'm gonna look into that and see if you are an illegal raping alien. Well, <laughs> that's the question. Who gets drunk? Whether or not they just take you for your word, or they actually investigate any of this shit. Drunk alien rapers. <laughs> probably, they probably have some sort of database that that will check you across too. You know, that's that's the un, un, uh, uncomfortable thing is that yeah, I'm sure that there's some major database that's going to be able to, from your name and social security number, determine any problems you've had. It's your library card they follow. <laughs> <laughs> Most closely, at least, right? Uh. All right, I'm out of I'm out of beer. Talk amongst yourselves. Yes, of course. No. Yeah, without Corey, Everyone. we have no direction, right? That's not true. That's we can do that. Talented young direction. people. Okay. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be all right. Let's talk about Corey while he's gone. What a better topic than to talk about Corey in this. What a fucking episode. control freak. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of egomania? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't talk during the song. Don't talk during the song. Uh, wait, 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 wait. 30 seconds, awkward Corey. <laughs> and we're on in. I have a hairy back. <laughs> God, and my yeah. chest is hairy, but my head is bald. <laughs> it creeped away from me. <laughs> Like my life force. Oh, I like your hair tonight, Ian. Thank you. Matches How often do you change it? Every uh, three months or so. Yeah, I think I've seen yeah. it. With, it was green or something on one of the previous shows. Three months yeah. though, huh? Like How do you do? You bleach it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, don't panic, Listen. everybody. I'm back. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> don't tell them <laughs> what we said. Okay. Mm. We Has anyone play. heard Corey sing? That's the question. We should we should do this. We should have a little drinking yes, game I right have. now. I don't know if you guys are it into on it. Tape, Andrew. Hey, I got Corey singing on tape. Here's an idea. Why don't Why don't we have like a little drinking game here? <clears throat> okay. I, I would I would like to do this. Uh, I would like Ein to very quickly find uh, one page of text. It can be a book. It can be anything. So, I, while you're looking right now for some page of text that you can put your hands on to read aloud, uh, I, I believe the game is going to be, we are going to take a drink. Dude, are we doing food this. time? Yeah, I like where this is going. <laughs> We're going to take a drink for every word that Ayn mispronounces <laughs> during this reading. <laughs> and, yeah, we're gonna and we're gonna take we're gonna take what? two I'm drinks. Gonna get another drink, How many English teachers? Okay, we're gonna do fifty genetic ideas you really needed to know. Okay, hang on. Everybody's getting a drink. We need one moment here while everybody gets loaded up. Everyone needs to get a drink. Everything. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say that uh, we have to take two drinks for every time Ein has to completely restart a sentence. <laughs> Fuck. All right, everybody load up on some drinks. All right, now Harry's got a big bottle, a giant bottle of Jack Daniels. Very nice. I'm ready Harry's to party. playing the redneck version tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't need a cup. No, I drink right out of the bottle. Fucking right. <laughs> Let's get the Ford truck out after it. All right, now I think maybe we'll go down to Taco Bell. we should assign some sort of a, a judge here. Uh, should we go with the resident linguist to be the one to determine whether or not Ayn has either mispronounced a word or restarted a sentence? Elizabeth? Maybe. Done. I hope I can do it. I think you can. All right, She's everyone. There. Here we go. Let's pay attention. to uh, This is Ayn reading from, what's the title of the book? 50 Genetic Ideas. You really need what to What do I know? do when it's mispronounced? Sorry, Ayn. Just stop her. Just make a sound. Eh. Aaron's good. Yeah. Just yell drink. Harry's got a whoopee cushion. <laughs> yeah, yell, you can just yell drink. Oh, God. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Fuck. I look at it like three words down the road. And I'm like, shit, this is not going to be pleasant. 
All right. In the 1880s, the advert of dyes that can stain Is that one? Ad- yeah, hang on. I think we got a drink there. <laughs> That's one. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck what is that What are you doing? Anyway, allow- <laughs> I can't have any responsibilities tonight. Okay, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the lead here on, on, on pointing out Ein's flaws. Well, <laughs> 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 so I can't, I can't. That, like, that's, that, that counts. Yeah, that counts. counts right there. <laughs> Edward Van Benden. She can't even say, well, hold on, stop, 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 stop. Right. There's no way that was right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody take a drink. Edward? Edward, Edward, it's E-D-O-U-A-R-D. Not, there's three words in that name which you mispronounced all of them. All of them, yeah. That's six drinks. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if we can. This is getting a little Wait, bit. Wait, Harry's got to get a new bottle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Harry, go get another no. bottle, buddy. You're all right. <laughs> How do you pass that? What is that then? You tell me. Well, I can't see it. Okay, Ian, I want you to find a period in the sentence and then start from there. Uh, if genes were held on a discrete chromosomes that came from each parent. That could explain how recessive traits could be preserved to. Uh, I'm gonna stop you there. Yeah, we're all stopping you there. That's that's another drink. Yep, yep. <laughs> that's, yeah. What? 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 It's cool. <laughs> recessive. Recessive. Yeah, you fucked that up. <laughs> you just got <laughs> in language. Straight, straight fuck that up. What did I say? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> 20, okay. Twenty bucks an hour. I just I just want everyone to know that I learned how to read on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we just lost like all the power. Hey. Hey. Where's what Megan? We should got Megan on the show. Oh man. <laughs> all right. Did it, did Harry and Ray did leave? Huh? Did yeah, Harry? I'm not sure what happened. They're gone. All right. Do you want me trying to try and re-add them? No. No, they're dead now. <laughs> Forget about them. <laughs> Let me just call him up here. They, they didn't make it through the storm. <laughs> Mutiny. We had a weird outage too. It was like a fizzle and a pop and a crack, and it was it was bad. Oh Jesus! That's all right. For some, I'm interested to see how this is going to be edited together and like how this show is going to sound <laughs> <laughs> yeah. as a completed program. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling there's a little bit of there's a little bit of choppy choppy that's got to happen here. Why can't uh, yeah. you're gonna, this is going to be a full-time job putting this one together. Mm. Dude, I have some funny McNutt stories. Holy. Funny McNutt stories, huh? <laughs> Tell us. How was it when <laughs> McNutt came down? Drunk. Really drunk. drunk. <laughs> uh, hello. Full exposure. Did he tell you everything you ever wanted to know about Greg McNutt? <laughs> No, I already I mean I knew everything, but it was oh. hilarious to see him like in a for like in a Canadian setting and let him out in the wild. It was, it was fun. <laughs> Why can't Did you guys go anywhere? Or you got... just stay at your place, or yeah. I can't so seem to get Ray and Harry back on for some reason. Did you and Greg like go out to the bars around your area? <clears throat> oh yeah, well both. We went, we went one night downtown. And then one night, kind of just around here locally, both were real oh, nice. But he oh, got I'm we were sure. at, we were at a, a bar downtown, and these three chicks came up to us, and it was me and him and and Greg's brother came too. And the girl that, the girl that the reason they came over is because one of the girls really liked Greg, which is fucking <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. And it's it turns out cool. and. And the one that really liked him was not that cute, a little bit bigger, and had like the worst bo. Mm. Like it was oh. awful. Uh, uh. <laughs> Did you egg her on? Were you just like, yeah, keep going, keep going? He's so interested. <laughs> well, no, we ditched him because the two other chicks she came over with were real cute and cool, and so his brother and I like paired off with the friends of her, and we left him alone. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and she was like being all aggressive and it was the funniest thing to watch and then he came up after he's like you assholes 
and he's, he's trying to dance real close. And he's like, I finally got the perfect distance to dance away from her that I couldn't smell her. And then she kept oh. coming closer. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what's the deal, though? I mean, wouldn't, like, what's the deal with B.O.? Like, wouldn't one of her friends say, like, okay, you really, you'd you, think, you think you got to say, like, you stink, right? Well, I mean, you know, they use that, they, they carry the, the duff around, you know, the dumb, ugly, fat friend, so that, that makes them look <laughs> better. And smell better. <laughs> you have an abbreviation for it? <laughs> Yeah, you've never heard that before. I've not heard that before. DFF. Yeah, D U D U F F. Huh. What's his name? Dumb, ugly, Dumb, fat, ugly friend. fat friend. Mm -hmm. I've never heard that before. No. Yeah. Do they? Does the Duff know that the Duff? Well, the thing is, is that no, I don't think so. I well, think if they're dumb. If they're dumb, then. Well, yeah, they're dumb. Yeah. So, so but they're operating, you know, a uh, much higher plane than they normally would be on so they just don't want to interrupt it so being part of that crowd they're just like yeah fuck it whoever i am i'm part of this crowd now well, as, 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 what has anyone in this group ever <clears throat> given someone the stink talk what is that like you smell bad like yeah, you smell bad you pull your friend aside and you say look you know i love you and you're amazing and you reek i haven't <laughs> i've seen greg no, do it like three or four times oh really <laughs> I had to people. tell a stripper that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to hear the rest of that story. Yeah, I feel like that's going somewhere. I had a customer come and say that her crotch just reeked, so I had to <laughs> speak to the girl who was Romanian. <laughs> so not only the language, right? How do you speak to a Romanian girl who doesn't know much English? Your vagina stinks. <laughs> I think we have a book title here. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, On ebooks, uh, Duffs and vaginas. That's Interesting. Right. All right, we got a show title as well. Listen, uh, so Ayn's been given the stink Are we talk. Still is that? Yeah, this is the show. This is we're on. This is what people tune in for right here. Ayn's been given the stink talk. Two hundred episodes of this shit. <laughs> I, had, I had a buddy in high school I mean when we were 16, 17 and uh, he wore a lot of turtlenecks and jeans with no belt alright so put that I'm all together I'm sorry yeah. I'm <laughs> and sorry. he just, he just smelled you? he smelled for like a Was year you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just I don't know I, I didn't tell him right because it's like I kind of lived with it and I didn't know if it's because you know at that time I felt like we were maybe growing up in a generation of, of people that are kind of cool with the way, you know, oh, natural. But, uh, yeah. uh, I don't know. Is it, is that, was that, you guys are younger than I am. Is that the new thing? Is it okay to smell? No, never okay no. to smell. I wouldn't think so. Only if you have a gun. That's disgusting. <laughs> Only if you can people back like it up. like me when I smell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like I'm just trying to imagine because, like, every, you know, everyone's watching Game of Thrones. And, you know, they're all dirty and they smell bad. Maybe that's the new thing. Uh, yeah, they take it from that show. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I had a friend who smelled really bad when we were traveling. And, uh, well, he got, he got hit in the face, right? Ruby. And he had this massive wound on his face. And after a couple of days of not showering, the wound started to smell. Like really bad, oh. like a corpse. And so uh, I ended up having to tell him, I said, you know, smell like a corpse. So you can't come and hang out with us anymore. You're going to have to clean that. that was the most you like can't I hang out with us. <laughs> Sorry, you smell like a corpse. You can't come. <laughs> that's, that's something a hard talk to have. That's difficult. <laughs> it was all right for me, I guess. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I've never had the Roddy Roddy talk. Back. Back. Yeah. Hey, there's Harry. Everyone's back. It's Island and in the, the Skype background. Right 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 yes. <laughs> I'm just in the background. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Uh. Hmm. Led Zabbit. Led Zabbit. <laughs> That's. 
So just to finish the Greg story, and then we were there late. We were like the <laughs> last ones in the bar, and but so it was him and this chick were the only ones left on the dance floor, <laughs> and they were like <laughs> dancing, <laughs> but like there was a three foot gap. It was the funniest shit. <laughs> just the visual <laughs> was hilarious. <laughs> All the balancers were like cracking up. They were looking at them. Like, oh my like, gosh! Well, did Greg drink himself under a stupor just to tolerate the entire situation? I guess he was—he's was a team player, man. I tell you. <laughs> Sounds like it, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. So, so then we just, she's uh, known as Stinky now. Talking about Stinky. Oh. Thank you. She did. She smelled terrible. She smelled really bad. Mm. Yeah. Why well, were you that close to him, Woody? No, that's how bad she smelled. <laughs> <laughs> across the park. <laughs> <laughs> Intolerable. <laughs> Three foot dancing gap. Just picture it. Oh God. <laughs> well, I can with Greg. It just it reminds me of that that story of me asking Greg like what he thought about the ladies in Costa Rica. Uh, How do you feel about the ladies in Costa Rica, Greg? I love that story. Not that into him. <laughs> and you and you not you not getting it? Yeah, no, I didn't get it at all. Everyone else at the table was like, "All right, all right, stop, Brian, stop." I'm like, "What do you mean you're not that into the ladies?" <laughs> <laughs> He says that because I'm into the boys. <laughs> <laughs> but the best part of that story is your response to that was, "Well, what do you mean? Well, what do you what? mean?" <laughs> <laughs> and we were under the table. There was no one left in the room. We were all <laughs> under the table laughing. That was Christmas. That was Christmas in Corey's house. Mm -hmm. at court, Christmas at Corey. <laughs> Piedades. Piedades of Santana. I miss that place. That's right. Piedades. That was a cool pad. It was like, you know, I was just thinking today about that place, actually, since we're getting all nostalgic for a moment. You know, there was a guy who lived on the Finca. He was from Edmonton, Canada. And, uh, mm. you know, I'm not saying the province because nobody fucking knows. <clears throat> and he was a chemist and a Man, saxophone right. player. And I missed every night after a rain, it would get all foggy and cloudy in the mountains. And you could hear in the other apartment across the Finca, him riffing on all these jazz sax licks. It was like amazing. I was thinking about that today. <laughs> That's a good I liked your old place too. It was really cool. That's right. Harry was there. Yep. Yeah, Upstairs. The landlord's place was incredible. Yeah, that's true. Ray was there too. Oh, shit. Sure. Everyone, yes, everyone on this call except Ryan times. was there. What do you know? We had a fire when Harry the crazy was there. dogs. Mm. Oh, those dogs. Mouth. Fuck <laughs> those dogs. <laughs> Bite, fighting little mongrels. Fighting oh mongrels. God. I remember Literally. when I stayed there, Corey, I watched the place, and, and at night I'd have to walk up the driveway, and I would just have to wait for those dogs to approach me in the dark. And it's just like, God damn it. When did you stay at my place? <laughs> Here they come. Hold on. Hold What's on. That? You were at my place when? Wait, did, did you not know that? <laughs> it was over the Christmas break when you went back to Canada. Oh, I that's right. And I threw everyone the keys and I said, I'm going away. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But yeah, I yeah, stood up that. there and gosh, those dogs, man, that used to scare the fucking Christ out of me. Oh, I remember freaking <laughs> I out too because yeah, you know what? I saw pictures on Facebook of everybody partying in my place and you guys had like had those Dutch doors at the front and you had the, the top door open and the cats could have run out and then I noticed that you're using the oh, wrong no. tea towels and then you were putting like cold... And then you like messaging me on Facebook like are the cats getting out? We're like, yeah. no, no, it's cool, man. Don't worry about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was the in hell. The cats didn't get away. I mean, they were still still there. It was hell. Did you ever try the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> the stairs to nowhere. <laughs> That's where we did episode 100. Hmm. Jake. That was a long and time Harry. ago. A long yeah. time ago. Who was on that show? Ray was there, I think. I think so, yes. 
Well, I've been I've been getting actually some funny Facebook messages today from people who are excited about episode 200. They're watching live now, and they're like, a lot now of them are asking. Not so excited. Yeah, they now <laughs> now they're pissed. <laughs> they're yeah, super they're pissed. What the fuck? I wasted my night for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Game of the Thrones vaginas are... and hookers. And... Well, everyone's oh, gone now. Game of Thrones is on. They're all gone. So that's fine. But oh, uh, you know. Really? I, I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of emails from people actually asking. It's like, hey, what show was I on, or where can I find this episode? So, uh, I do kind of want to say that I put on the website uh, archives, so you can click on that link and you can look at all the past shows all the way back. So, kind of if you're looking to get nostalgic about it, that's the way to do it. There you go. Yeah, because <clears throat> there's some pretty funny ones, and one of the ones that he was looking for, Woody, was specific. He was looking for episode 109. Oh yeah, and uh, it had something to do. I think it was Scotch sandwiches and grumpy something. <laughs> Does that make any sense? <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I like Scotch the sandwich. sandwiches. Scotch it was Scotch sandwiches. I'm just gonna go look for it now. Fuck it. It's my show. I'll do it. Uh, let's see here, Rodies. Are you drinking Tonya, Corey? Yeah, I'm having a Tonya right now. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. That's a good one. Can can you make a dirty pair for the 200th episode? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> the dirty pair. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one's for Jake. Wasn't that Jake's thing? Didn't he make that drink? Yeah, that, I think I believe that's right. I believe that's right. When he used to show up for shit? Yeah, Jake. What? Uh, <laughs> what is that? What is married that? Now, right? <laughs> He's married now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I found it. By the way, episode one hundred nine, Grandpa Stiffy Rum Sandwich. And this is the one where Woody and I are kind of hanging around during Easter week. Samantha Santa. Yeah, it was Samantha Santa. And. Uh, I don't know. I guess I could have some. I don't know what, what's so good about it, but I'm going to have to listen to it. We're going to play the show oh, on the show. Let's, let's go to a clip of that, right? <laughs> yeah, let's now. go to All right. <laughs> let's, let's cut to a clip. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. God, that was amazing. Now and I think about it. I remember that. Holy that. fuck, that was fucking funny. Oh, damn. <laughs> you, know, Holy. The, you know. That seemed like yesterday. Corey, when you said that thing, dude, man, that was good. I oh, uh, shit my <laughs> that thing. That like thing? It. Oh my god. Uh, Harry so burned a cry. hole in his it. fucking seat. He was so hot. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I'm not drunk enough for this. Quality, quality. I don't think we're all ever gonna be drunk enough for this. I'm partial to the Nick for dummies. We're gonna take you to this clip now. <laughs> next clip do you have episode one Corey? how does episode one start yeah we we don't i do but no one can hear it there's <laughs> i've got them all here archived. oh come on yeah it's pretty funny because it there are, it's me and about five guys sitting around stoned in a basement yes and then at the end of it we're like you know man we should like we should play some tunes <laughs> no, we, then we just played some songs and that was it I was at an episode in a sun porch oh <laughs> yes is that it? yeah with <laughs> some guy who had burns on his legs mm. yes that was that, the legendary episode yes. 12 I think it was called pig water <laughs> <No>. <laughs> When, uh, uh, long and short, we were all sitting around on the sun porch, and uh, my then uh, girlfriend came in that day covered in pig shit. Oh. Because she was walking down the street, and this happens in Listowel. <laughs> you know, you're just walking down the street in Listowel, and a, Damn right. <laughs> a giant truck full of pigs goes by, and it takes that corner just a little bit too fast, and there's some sloshing, and some pig shit and piss comes out of the side of the open trailer. And you just get doused in pig shit. Oh, fuck. God, man. That's the worst. Rural Ontario. <laughs> I had that happen down by the old giant in, in uh, San Jose. 
God, I don't know. I'm going to have to sit here, I guess, and just finish all these beers and go through the old ones. Could you imagine them going through 200 hours of this program? Good Lord. I guess I could pay somebody in Asia to do it, right? 2.5 as well. That'd help us out. I can get some Indian guy to do it. Uh, they're able. Well, or some Costa Rican guy, right? Yeah, they're too expensive. Ayn, you know some cheap labor, right? <laughs> Ayn, are you cheap labor? Depends on the night. I understand Ayn's gone from like four dollars to five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> wearing a Dodge T-shirt. I am. Who? Are you wearing a Dodge? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? I, I don't want to know. I don't want to. I don't want to know what you're dodging. <laughs> How many Dodge coins do you have? Zero. Zero? Yeah. It's not true. They're valuable. It is. We're gonna go get another beer. They've, they've actually oh. surpassed the rupiah, the Indonesian currency. Dodge coins. Dodge. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did, did, did I finish her, her reading? Oh, don't. Come on. No, I don't want everybody to get drunk here. I think the, the power went out and you hadn't really gotten through a whole sentence yet. I think that was a sign. It was just like, stop. Oh, you guys power yeah. went out too? I thought it was just me. But and you Corey. guys said power went out too? No, just Corey, right? Yeah. Or was it Harry? No, no, no. Uh, mine died on this end there oh, for no. a little bit. Oh, yeah. Corey's died. Corey's died too. Okay. Is that what happened? Uh, yes. At the same time, that's a bit peculiar. Yeah. It is. Oh. That's cool. You pronounced that one right. That was good. <laughs> peculiar. She learned that from the Four Non Blonde song. It's an adjective. <laughs> from the last. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I said. Hey, well, I'm gonna I take like, a leave yeah, for a few minutes, yeah, yeah. few minutes, folks, and grab a dart. I'll be back. We'll talk to you shortly. Yeah, I need, right. I need a refill. We'll be here. Luckily, I'm wearing pants. So it's time for back to back, crack to crack. If I had a nickel. Be way more interesting if you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. Don't panic. I left too. Oh, everyone else left. Everyone's, no, they, they just left. Well, this is winding down. I can I can feel it. This is this is this is almost the end. Because I just looked well, at. Well, everyone has to get a smoke and a drink. Yeah. Wait, are we are we gonna get an? Are we ending? Because if we're ending, I'm not opening this beer. We we can end if you want. You can guzzle it. Uh, <laughs> you just have to drink it faster now. You know, it'd be funny is that if we actually, if we just kind of ended the show here while Harry was gone. <laughs> final <laughs> and he, thoughts. And he final came thought. back and he's like, all right, so why don't we do this? We haven't done this in a long, long time. Why don't we go around the panel and get the final thoughts from everybody, starting with Ray. I wasn't even ready. No oh, shit. <laughs> lady who fly upside down have no hair by cracky. No, lady who slide down banister have no hair by cracky. Ladies who fly upside down have quack up. Who who are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to Ein. Ein, final thoughts. Um, I'm really excited that I get to finish watching my Munster documentary, which is like 20 more minutes to go. So mm. please end soon. Munster or monster? Munster. Like in the cheese? You know, or is that yeah. Moose Aunt Lily and all them? Yeah. Like Yeah. Yeah, like Fester? Yeah. No, Fester is Adam's family. Wait, what are you talking about? Monsters. The monsters. Oh the monsters. Thirteen Mockingbird Mockingbird Road. Yeah. The Monsters. Lane. The Monsters. Alright, there it is. Uh <clears throat> Mike Patton, final thoughts. Me? Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's oh, you. <laughs> uh, I am just completely, completely elated to see 
what's going on with Prince Oberyn in about, I don't know, 30 minutes. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to jump on that, see how things go. Probably going to enjoy myself watching that. Is that is that your boyfriend? Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Gay of Thrones. Yeah, it sounds that way. You but said jump on it and watch that, so I'm right. like, oh. <laughs> you, you gotta understand that and get that into is it. Completely understandable seeing that character. Great character. I'm all about it. Okay. Good enough. Woody. <clears throat> Woody, <laughs> Woody. Final thoughts for tonight. Yeah, uh, I was here for episode 100. Uh, I'm here for episode 200. So uh, get a job. I my uh, my record <laughs> to job. another. Uh, you know, one or two episodes, <laughs> maybe. I got your beer, Corey. Uh, I am having a Tonya here in honor of that beer. I'd rather have that Rickards rather to tell you the truth. And I guess uh, Liz left. I mean, she's, she's had enough of this. <laughs> and Harry left because he's a smoker. So my final thoughts for tonight are sponsors. <laughs> I want to thank everybody at, at <laughs> FreshBooks.com. Painless billing. Medina. <clears throat> Online invoicing. Cloud accounting made easy. FreshBooks. Brian Medina Squarespace. uses it every single day. Space Square. Space Square. <laughs> you you square want a website? Circle. Call Brian Medina. He'll make it happen for you. He'll take this square and he'll put it into a space and something dot com and you looking good. While you're there, pick up a domain. And we're not talking about a realm. We're not talking about an area. We're not talking about a universe. We're talking about a domain. And uh, a great domain, for example, is there is a new one out that is dot .club. So, for example, you could get Canadian.club and uh, be Mr. CC like me, Hover.com. Love those guys. And, uh, of course, I want to thank everybody for listening. My final thoughts for tonight are super simple. Uh, fuck, man, 200 episodes. That's a lot. Keep it real. <laughs> hey, we'll do like three more. <laughs> uh, all right. That's it. Fuck it. I love you. you, Harry. Fuck it. I love you, everybody. I love you. Cheers. Damn. I love you, I know. (laughs) (laughs) Raise that iced tea, Brian. Oh, it's delicious. And that's a cut. I'm very pleased with that. I'm, I'm okay with all of that stuff. I think so. Exactly. <clears throat> oh yeah, you cut it up, you put some music I mean, on I, it. It's great. Yeah, you're gonna cut it all up, and you're gonna make it sound like uh, just fantastic. Oh yeah, sure. or I'm just gonna run it like that and put some lounge music underneath. Same thing. Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'll play around with it. I'll make it happen. That's what she said. And if it doesn't, if it's not good, it's uh, Jake's fault. <laughs> yeah. It's all Jake's. Fault. You know, we should just take this you know, show and just. Blame, yeah. I should put it on cassette and email it to Jake. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> how does that even work? He can play it on his wall. Did I just say I'll put it on cassette and email it to him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna record it on my VCR, and then I'll email it to you. It'll be good. You'll Please do that. <laughs> Back catch. Make sure you rewind it first, though. Mm. <laughs> be kind. Please rewind. <laughs> All right, I don't know, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna laser disc things. So I guess we better hurry because Harry's gonna come back. So I want to say thanks to everybody for joining me tonight. Super, super cool. Sorry about the technical issues, but I'm really not because I don't care. And uh, uh, see you later. Okay. Yay! Bye. Ciao. Bye, Harry. <laughs> 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 My favorite.